Ah, uh, to be honest, I think it's working on NRD is uh, full of surprises. Uh, someone might say, well, but it's an old problem. The solutions are new and new problems happen all the time. So when, when I was a grad student, this, this reminds me, maybe some of you were familiar with this uh, TV show by the, the History Channel. It was called the, the Pawn Stars. So the, the Pawn Stars, they had this pawn shop where people uh, came to this pawn shop to sell all kinds of different uh, artifacts and aqua things. And the owner and the introduction said something like, you never know what's gonna come through that door, right? So he never know what people were going to his shop to sell. And you know, whenever a chemical engineer, a mechanical engineer calls me, sends me an email and says, I have a corrosion problem, I never know what it's gonna be. So <laughs> new problems happen all the time. So awkward things happen inside reactors. I mean, I cannot tell most of them because most of them end up in uh, confidential uh, technical reports, but all kinds of awkward things happen. And the good thing is that we always need to go back to books. We always need to go back to papers and sometimes we end up writing new papers, some, sometimes review papers. And I think solving problems is at the, the very essence of being an engineer. So when we are engineers and we look for problems and we solve them, that gives us confidence. And when we have confidence, we feel better and we think we can tackle a harder problems each time. And I think that's good. That, that, that keeps people motivated and it's the opposite to routinary activity. Nobody wa wants to get in the office and always do the same and the same and the same. Some people like, it's very valuable too, but people who like, who study engineer, engineering, I think they like uh, challenges. We like to be challenged and to solve them. So yeah, I think if you like challenges, R&D is the place to be. There are also long-term projects. One of my long-term projects right now is the integrity of pipelines in hydrogen and the challenges, I like them because they make use of all uh, your, your intellectual capacities, right? And when you make use of all your intellectual capacity, you're happy. And it's not, it's not all, only just the technical things, right? Because with the technical things, you can do things yourself, but still you need someone to buy that project. So you need, so you still need to be able to sell that project and you still need help. So you also need a lot of interpersonal skills to engage people and to be able to sell the project, right? So I don't know, I think, uh, to be honest, you can be as happy at work, you can be happy at work if you're in R&D. And I think that's the most honest and simplest uh, impression I can I can offer you. That's awesome. Thank you very much.